been an extremely stacked upper bracket uh, to speak specifically as well. And to see these two teams face off so early is a little mind boggling. Yeah, I mean, if you guys have been looking at social media in the last couple of weeks and saw some of the, the power rankings and tier lists uh, from everyone up there, it, it, it was always Totem and Zeta Division 1 in that S tier category. Sometimes Zeta Division 0 is also up there too, but looking at you guys at home, 61% of you all are gonna be voting for Zeta Division 1. 29 for Apply Totem. We'll see who gets it right as our bands are coming through here for double swoosh. We'll see Janet, Crow, and Max banned out by Zeta as Totem take out Poco, Stu, and, and, and Carl. First pick Bono from Apply Totem. That's an interesting way to go. And I think it's also a, a little bit uh, less unusual when you see that they've also gotten rid of Stu. Stu at land, he's very, very powerful and definitely a favorite for Reply Totem, but they didn't feel like going for him for the first pick, interestingly enough. Here are the picks from Zeta Division 1, though. They're going with Penny and B. And with B, you have to be breaking open these walls. Not as popular of a pick on Double Swoosh, in particular because you have to combine it with Wall Break, and I think it might be quite straightforward for Reply Totem to go ahead and pick those out, but this could be a trap laid in the draft so that Reply Totem is forced to run some of these short range and more wall breaky types, and then Zeta Division 1 can count it out with the final pick they're gonna go gene I, I was kind of thinking whether they would dare to do so or, or not because Bo is a perfectly oh. fine jam carrier but if, if you can double down and, and take the gene and set play Bo on the lane make it happen and we'll see that buster as a final pick which is, is a brother it's still a little bit of a question mark it's rated quite highly as of now but uh, to be fair most teams haven't quite had the chance to you know see the full extent the full potential of that brawler just yet and he's going to rely, I think, a lot on those bushes. This is one where I might expect to see a Colonel Ruffs or something like that. It's definitely an East Asia favorite. It's also great at breaking open some walls. It comes down to, are you able to get those supers out fast enough? But of course, this has to be something that Reply Totem are aware of because they decided not to get it for themselves. And here's the Colette, actually. Where does the wall break come from? It's got to be Gene and it's got to be Bo. However, this could simply be a new approach to the map that we have not seen before. It's a very interesting draft on both sides, to be fair, but I think the, the ideas are just a little bit more traditional on the side of Reply Totem. Whereas for Zeta, uh, well, you'll have the Penny gem carrier more likely than not uh, be playing that left lane and Genji on the right, but there you go. Quarterfinal number one between Zeta, Division One, and Reply Totem has now officially started. And it's going to be the poking game early on, try to get some early supers and with those vision gears at work. And they gotta be very, very careful about this right side as well. Buster is a looming threat, but he just doesn't seem to be hanging out on that right side, and Zeta Division 1 certainly expect him to be more fighting the side of the left at the moment. Mari also being very, very cautious. Here comes Mario on the right side. He has that speed gear as well to get forward extremely quickly. A super for free. Shaitapo gets it close. Oh, oh delete oh, oh, him! Oh, oh. What was that? I in a blink of an eye, he's gone. Wow, the Buster already shut down. Baish the tempo already has another super as well. So does Moya Goku. And right now they are dominant in the mid area. Ari has still yet to get a pull. Is going to unlock one now. Shitempo popped a gotcha. Ooh. And the pull connects onto Moya Goku. Going to open up the right side just a little bit. Kenji now on A gems. Uh, one for one trade on the left hand side, which is going to give some control to Reply Totem. The problem is that gem lead on the side of Zeta is just so massive. It's colossal, and they even have a turret down now, which is going to get them that much more control around mid. If Maori's position is revealed, it's going to start firing down on him. He's going to be forced away from mid. Here come the mines from Joker. Kenji's going to need to bait these out. He also loses a lot of bushes, and down goes Moya Goku on the right side. Maori also picking up yet another gem. Shetapa having a lot of his shots reflected. Doesn't even have enough health to push in versus Maru as well. Vengeful Spirit's coming in as well, keeping Shetapo and Kenji low. And now they've been pushed all the way back into their own spawn, stacking up in what seems to be a death dot, but it could be coming to get them as Reply Totem continue to stuff them back in their own spawn. Yeah, the gems are still spawning. A pool connects from uh, the side of Totem as Shetapo gets shut down. Moya Goku. On the left side, wants to clear things open. Maru oh. shuts him down, and Shatempo still has a super, wants to clear him up, but is being very careful with this push. They are playing those wiggles. That's gonna be a countdown secured by Reply Totem, but it's only a one gem difference. It does spawn on their side. A super from Shatempo, he goes down, but Kenji is able to equalize. He's so 
low HP, but that's still gonna be another countdown initiated by Reply Totem as they find Gem 11. Mine's down on the left side, and Zeta-1 can't really bait these out as Joker is running Tripwire. They have to be cautious about these. Also, another gem picked up, and the count is tied. Blue team now taking back this lead, but Reply Totem are just so close behind. Only one gem is what they need. It spawns right next to Maori. Perfect timing. Maori also denying the gotcha from Shtetampo on the right side. Shtetampo has none left. Oh, He's gonna oh my god, and a huge pull! Reply Totem, they've taken it back, and the countdown begins! Incredible pull from Maori! He popped off just two days ago, and he's here again, providing for his team and securing game number one was just an absolutely mind-blowing pull. Look at that max range. Genji did not even realize what happened, that he was already pulled in. Wow. Mari again, man, he's been popping off at these World Finals. That's what you need to make happen, especially versus such a powerhouse as Zeta Vision 1, but after this game, it's too close to call. It looked so dominant at first for Zeta Vision 1, then Reply Totem, they reeled it back, they stuffed Z1 back into their spawn, and this time Z1 have to flip the script. They have to do the same to Reply Totem. It's gonna be very difficult with Buster looming in the bushes at all times. A big problem also for Zeta Vision 1 was we repeatedly saw Shtetampo getting his gadgets denied by Mar Maru. Maru's not going to be fooling anyone with that super, though. Does manage to push in, and Joker also closes in to get a little bit more damage. Gotcha popped. Maru, though, stays alive. But Reply Totem have gotten away with a lot of gems. Yeah, good work there from Totem. A beautiful super from Shtetempo, but it's only a one-for-one -one trade. Gem lead still slightly in favor of Reply Totem. Three now in their advantage. Maru has a pull. Kenji needs to be careful, and that pull is going to connect as well. A quick elimination as Maru secures the kill. And yet, Zeta Division 1 still have a decent bit of control, able to keep getting some gems in the mid, trying to catch up. I'm surprised to see some of these pulls hitting as well, because Z1, they're playing two gene counters here. As far as the pull game goes, Maru, though, on the right side, pops that super. He's also slowed down a little bit. Looks like he'll be safe and sound for a little bit longer. Moya Goku gets one shot, no slow. Shitampo also trying to deal some damage on the back lines, but they have to deal with the buster on the right side. Maru finally falls. That's one kill for Zeta 1. Two more along the way. They gotta oh. get these gems off Joker. Here it comes. All the gems topple onto the ground, and Maru picks up a couple of them. That's not good. Another kill as well for Shitampo. Zeta Division 1, though, they're only one gym in the lead. Yeah, it's a very small lead, but control is looking much better for the Japanese side of the map. As they are getting to 9 now, one away from a countdown, but they do have a gene pull on to Maori. We saw what he did was it earlier. The turret is there to block any incoming pulls. We'll get deleted, so no longer have that safety net on the side of Zeta Division 1. The super from the tempo, but he gets shut down. A one gem difference now as Reply Totem are close and another pull onto Kenji. Beautiful stuff so far on these pulls. I don't think a single one has missed from Maori. The guy is going crazy, but he still needs to stay alive. A little bump there on the mine from Shitampo. Joker also still looming on the left side. Here's a countdown for Zeta Division 1, but they're only one gem ahead, and it's quickly taken back by Reply Totem. Joker around the left continues to push things back. Another set of mines go onto the ground, and Shitampo does manage to avoid them, but so many bushes have been lost, and Reply Totem is just waiting oh, for Oh, what? What a use of the super! Zeta Division 1, they have to be pushed, and Someone has to go down for Reply Totem to take it back. He stole that gem with the Colette Super. Maori is in trouble as well. He gets shut down, and that is going to be game. Oh, for Zeta Division 1. That means what, just in this first set, how close does it even get here? Did you see the gem spawned right as the game oh, ended? He I missed picked it. it up. He picked it up, but it was too late. A millisecond too late. And Reply Totem, they did the math but it was just a little bit off, and it cost them the game. Wow, what an incredible first set already. But let's see who ends up taking it, as first gem was picked up by Moya down in the mid, and Joker gonna be matching that, as Maori will be playing his gene onto the lane so far, and with great results against Genji here, Gadget will be pumped, but the barrel will be dealt with quite easily by Maori, and Genji is left low HP and forced to fall back. Maru still on the right side. He's waiting for this next super inch. Tetampo's not fighting. Or never mind, he is. There is a super destruction on the right side. And he continues pushing up the right as he looks to close in Joker and Maru around the left side. Moe Goku also patiently waiting with the super. Maru, he's trying to stick close to his teammates, relatively so, so that he can get that super for free. Destruction of Tetampo on the right side. Now Moe Goku retreats to pick up a couple more gems. This has been domination on the gem count. Joker's gonna have to be the saving grace. Pushing up on the right. Three-man destruction on a Kenji, but Shtetampo's back. He's looking right 
right for Mary, but Mary has a super now. It's not looking good as far as the Zeta Division 1 push in as Reply Totem looked to work the same angles before. Great pull! No and way! Gems toppled to the ground in Zeta Division 1. They've lost every last one of them. Reply Totem are one gym away from taking it back. Maori has done it again with another game-changing pool, and that's gem number 10. They are split amongst all three players, so a bit of a weak countdown. If Zeta Division 1 can find just a single kill, things might get turned around, but a beautiful buster shield here to thank the left side. He knows as well that he can afford to take a couple of shots from Kenji. Is it gonna be enough? Oh! The tempo nearly shuts them down, but the reply totem, they get away with that first set. I need like a million instant replays from that entire last set <laughs> because you were completely correct. This is a grand finals in disguise. This has been so close off of just the first set. The clutch pulls hit. The gym spawning just at the last second in just a millisecond too late, costing Reply Totem one of those games. They bring it back. Not a single pull missed that entire time. And here it is. Shit, Tompo, once again, up that right side. I mean, well, we'll see Look just that exactly theory. how that went. That, that was just beautiful. That, that's picture perfect. Just textbook right there. Yeah, Maori has been absolutely on fire these World Finals. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna see the, the, the moment you were talking about, that final gem that would have tied things up. Look at that, <laughs> the tempo ceiling gem number 12, the one that would have tied things up. Reply Totem still managed to get to 11, and just a little bit too late, Joker <sighs> picks up gem number 12. That would have been the tie, but time is time. As soon as the match is over, it's over. It's been so, so close every single game, and even on the stats as well, but one team definitely does take the cake here. The superior stats belong to reply to it. I mean, more damage, more kills. Shitapo, though, I mean, we can't sleep on yeah. this guy. He's pretty much the MVP of his whole team right here, as well as on the damage overall that Colette was putting in the work, and had the game been just a half of a second longer there towards the end, he would have been able to clutch up that gem and get the interruption. That was an incredible opening set, and we got plenty more to go. Moving on to Hot Zone, it's gonna be Ring of Fire for our second map and mode. My goodness, ready. I, 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 I oh. wasn't ready, oh my god. Off the bat, we are gonna see the loot picked up by Joker on the side of Reply Totem. Might get traded around in just a bit. Just to go through the bands real quick, We'll see Ruffs, Benny, and B banned out by Zeta, Totem banning out Griff, Otis, and Bell. Oh man, you don't know how happy it makes me to see Lou here. The NA vibes and full force, but th this is this is <laughs> EMEA vibes now. It's very clear, it's very clear that Lou is good here. Oh, well, okay, well, we'll make it that much clearer, or rather Reply Totem will, if they are able to make this one pop off. Zeta Division 1 though, they get the max and the Meg as well. This is a pick that I think has slept on a lot, but has been banned out more times than I think many people have expected in the World Finals so far, especially when it comes to Ring of Fire. Combine that with Max, really any East Asian team with a Max, they're gonna go crazy. Mag is an absolute trench. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, we've seen it really just resurge. I don't know if it was being kept, you know, hidden for a while, or if the, the, the slight uh, buff oh, man. that it had recently really motivated players to get back at it, but it's been doing really uh, wonderfully well lately. We'll see Buster and Gil to complete the comp from Applied Totem. And I like what I'm seeing. They seem to really want to utilize that Buster. Yeah, it definitely also looks like a max sort of counter comp, right? Let's try and slow things down. Blue as a first pick is going to be quite effective for that. You just have to make sure that you actually hit those shots. It's sort of hard to line them up sometimes if an enemy is dodging you really, really well. And of course, Max is going to be going really, really fast once she gets that super up, and Meg is going to be difficult to face. Here's a Crow as well. That's going to be good for diminishing some of the uh, health that Buster has to offer. It also can fire over his shield with the super, but I don't really know how much of a valuable strategy that's going to be. This one's a tough one to call because we don't often see Buster in competitive, and we don't often see Meg in competitive either. This is like a World Finals exclusive. Yeah, both teams, they are bringing out their well this comes for this one because they know just how closely matched they are, how much of a threat they are to each other because both teams, they only have one thing in mind and that is going to be victory. Let's find out how Hot Zone goes down. So far, a couple early tanks from Kenji that were on point. A slow one to Joker could result in a kill, but some good body blocking will save the day as Maru 
comes through with a shield to secure some percentages for Reply Dota, but I just don't know how sustainable that Buster strategy really is. Wow! Evidently not very sustainable as Shetapo takes the lead and now firmly plants himself on the left side. Here comes a swing as well. No damage on a Joker or Mauru as he's pushed away by the super of Joker. Another super popped by Mauru, but he's all slowed down. He will be able to get onto the point, but not for long. Shetapo lays him to rest. Joker remains alive just by a smidge. But Shetapo, Kenji, despite being reduced to low health, remain alive. Kenji also goes in for a kill. Destroyed by Mauru, but this one is so clear cut on the score so far. Zeta Division 1 are ahead by a massive margin. Yeah, this is gonna be a complicated one. The tempo very aggressive there, gets knocked back by Joker, but really, this is just such a significant lead for Zeta Division 1. I don't know if Reply Totem can recover. They are trying to get some more control, and Maru using uh, that star power to get his uh, shield back, but it's been a bit of a challenge so far for Totem, not really able to find much uh, of their groove in this game. Well, now they do have that lose super down. It's going to be forcing people off of the point, but they still got to deal with Kenji on the left side. Maru also is reduced to very low health. Really can't compete with the range of Shetapo. It's the final push in. It looks like Zeta Vision 1. They have to stay alive here. 1, 2, destruction. Maru does get the kill, but he falls to the poison and the damage from Shetapo. It's a Zeta Division 1 victory with the Max Meg Strat. The Buster just was not it off the beginning of the game. They got almost no value off of that super. What a response yeah. from Zeta Division 1, and what a good draft as well. I, I, I'm i not overly convinced by the Buster so far here on Ring of Fire. I, I think in double swoosh it was doing fantastic, but here it's been struggling a lot more. The shields are very useful for sure, but they only last for so long, and you just don't really have the range to threaten your opponents besides Stan. That's why they are going for a wide flank on the right side, try to change the execution a little bit and, and find another game plan. Well, Maori, he was left high and dry on the top side, taken down in a 1v2. Down goes Joker as well. Maori's the last one surviving, tries to use that super, but you can't block a melee attack. Shetapo picks up the kill, and Reply Totem is still, they've only managed to make a scratch on that point. 1% taken so far, and now they'll try and freeze things up, make things slip around a bit, but Zeta Vision 1 are already preparing for the counter onslaught. Totem need a miracle to save this set. It's not a draft that seems to be going too well for them as Kenji jumps in, gets a lot of value, but does end up going down. That will feed a loose super, so freezing off the bottom side of the map, we see the Wiggles from uh, Moya on the max. Yeah, we've got to love the Wiggles. That's an East Asia Max exclusive. Here comes a little pushback on a shit tempo. He stays alive. Yeah, must be spinning because that was a bit of a waste. He's also close to getting that super, too. Here comes the damage. Moya Goku pops a speed as well. They're laying right into Reply Totem. No kills just yet, but you don't need kills. You just need the power of will and the power of will to stay alive at mid. Shit tempo, he's left high and dry. One, two kills for the guy. Needs another. There it goes, Joker. And he's now going to become a creature of the bushes on the left side, lurking here for as long as he can. The tempo on the max shuts down Reply Totem once again. It's a closer game, but it's still very much Zeta Division 1 with the lead. And Maori left in a 1v3, finds just a 1. And that is going to be Zeta Division 1 with a quickly secured set to tie things up. And the little shots from Shetapo there towards the end, that's confidence right there. When you can walk all over your enemies and slap them up with some attacks from Meg Super, that, yeah, that, that's fantastic. It's got to be a good feeling as well. And what a way to take things back after gym grab. Every single gene pull hit in set number one. And that can make you feel kind of amateur when you allow that to happen, especially when you're playing B and you're and you're playing Penny as well. Two brawlers that can block it out. Zeta Vision 1, it looks like they've gotten back in their group, but less specifically on the battlefield, but more in the draft. I think this was an outdraft by Zeta 1. Yeah, I, I, I think there are some interesting ideas in what Totem brought to the table here on Ring oh, of yeah. Fire. Because, yes, the Buster is not really going to get a whole lot of damage, right? Because he's just non-stop too far from the action. But those shields, they will help the Lou, for example, to, you know, come forward, get some free shots, and then get that super down, which will disable your opponents from getting in the zone. But Zeta just really didn't play into that. They gave them the space whenever the shield was up, and then pushed back, and there was just not really enough utility on the side of uh, a totem to deal with that. But looking at the stats, Whoa. it's again the tempo that is highest both in damage and in kills.
and that hurts on the side of Reply Totem. I mean, maybe we can turn a blind eye to it. Zero, two, three on the kill count. And while it is hot zone, it's not all about kills. You do need to play for control and getting kills is a great way to, you know, get someone out of your way, send them back to the respawn and make sure they are not contesting you on the objective. But it looks like in the draft, in the gameplay, on the stats as well, it's all clear cut for Zeta 1. However, we're moving right along and into this mode right here, Zeta 1, Brawl Ball, it is their best mode. 74% win rate. Reply Totem, not really much to speak of on their Brawl Ball win rate. Yeah, no, it's it's a night and day difference, but we'll see off the bat the max pick brought in by Reply Totem. A wise one, because I mean, you don't want to leave it to Zeta. It escaped through the draft process here, but the following brawler, brawlers did not as Griff, Gil, and Surge were banned out by Totem. Zeta banned out Rough Spenny and Buster. It's a good thing they banned out Buster. I think they just had a feeling that, yeah, it's definitely going to be picked by Reply Totem. And also, probably pretty wise here on Brawl Ball as well. There's a Crow as well, just the instant response to the Max pick. Now, when it comes to Super Beach, how well is it going to do? He doesn't have a whole lot of health. He does have great mobility, though. And if they start to shape the map to their will, he might be able to do quite a bit better as well. But when you start off with a Max pick, that's very, very bold. Because Max, she's pretty straightforward to counter. The counters are not really banned out either. And Zeta 1, it looks like they fully intend on countering out the max strategy. Yeah, Crow, I think, is definitely a valid option to, to, to do that, right? The slow is going to help out massively because there's a big push. If you can slow multiple people down, those three seconds are three seconds enough to uh, get a successful defense or a big pickup. The tempo going to be following up with an uh, Otis brought to his team. And I, I, I definitely like Otis here. I, I think on Super Beach, it's an absolutely viable pick. Uh, one of the more standards one here as well, a bit less original perhaps than the Crow, uh, but one that's very effective. A mute at the right timing will shut down an offense, shut down a defense, and give you a lot of win conditions. And Fast Splatter could be pretty good for getting some extra damage on enemies, controlling some lanes too, and also for destroying some turrets that could be otherwise pretty frustrating. Here's the Poco though, and that's going to be the Max Poco. It just doesn't appear that they really care that they are facing versus an Otis and a Crow. They must have thought that, yeah, we'll go for the Max first pick, first of all, because it's Zeta 1 that we're facing. We do not want them to have Max as a second or third pick. And second of all, they're just that confident that they can make the Max Poco work. Really, the only way for them to finish this off is going to have to be with a tank, and they might do so because look at the brawlers they banned out. It's very clear that they want to run a tank. Is it possible? There's a Carl. He's not the tankiest tank. He's not like the quintessential tank but he does have a lot of health he has great damage in close range with his super and good mobility with his gadget yeah i i, I somewhat disagree i feel like uh, a, a call or maybe even a gene uh were more likely to come true just because a, a tank is too dangerous you, you can't against an otis uh, a crow is vulnerable to to the tanker brawlers but i think call is a very valid option because you know you played in at around mid range super high mobility and his super basically makes him uh, a tank for just a couple of seconds. The final pick on the side of Zeta Division 1 is going to be Ems, and it, it's a great idea because as Max defines the pace of the game with her max speed, Ems slows it down in her own way with uh, her supers. So I, I think they have a decent uh, uh, amount of, of stuff to work with on the side of Zeta Division 1. Much more defensive, obviously, compared to Reply Totem, that is all about going in and uh, hit heavy. Well, you know what they say, sometimes the best offense is a good defense, and Zeta Division 1, they are certainly well equipped for a good offense if that is the case. Reply Totem, though, they're certainly wanting to play aggressive here, and it's going to be countered out as best as Zeta Division 1 can. Already, some damage dealt on both sides, more dealt to Reply Totem, big pinch on a Maru, and Maori around the left side tries to force things forward with Joker, but they're stranded. Kill by Shtetapo, Maori, he's surrounded in a 1v3, it's chalked in that matchup. Zeta Division 1 now have to push this forward. However, is their oh. health pool going to lend itself to success? Well, Maru, he has a super that he can use. He needs the right moment, though. Yeah, Maru actually dodged that super, but the tempo has oh, no. the ball now as well in a good position, but still going to be somewhat complicated. He goes for it, but oh my goodness, how did he just 1v2? I don't think he can score it. He's still going to attempt it. Joker doesn't quite fall for it and catches the ball mid-track, but... Wow, that was incredibly close. And another super from Shetempo finding the value. Maori goes for the super and elimination onto Kenji. Aggressive positioning from Maru. The pass, the oh. shot, and it goes in. 
beautiful, beautiful plays and positioning from Reply Totem. It goes to show you don't need to win the mid fight in order to slot a ball in the goal. You just got to run it up one of those lanes and have your teammate in the optimal position. And Carl, he's equipped. Here comes the speed as well. Immediately denied by Stetampo, but he's on very low health. A little jump in. Oh, then the ball no sticks way. through. Maori's got the goal. And Reply Totem take game one. This is crazy. Zeta Division 1 just looked so much better in the beginning. Stetempo was popping off. He nearly scored a 1v2, which was incredible by itself. But somehow, Reply Totem, they managed to turn things around and hit them hard with those two quick goals. Let's see if this next game is going to be similar, if Zeta Division 1 can find a solution to what Reply Totem have been throwing at them. It's close call after close call with these guys. Reply Totem, they're really only getting these goals by a close call. However, Mauru, he's in position to get this one again. Little kill, little technique there with the gadget as well. Joker slots it in, and this is a completely different narrative from what we've seen in game number one. So much more dominant for Reply Totem, and already a speed in. Joker, he's got some nasty ideas. He's going to be denied by Kenji and Stetampo. Now it's a 3v1, but two very low brawlers on either side of Kenji. It's not going to be enough. The pass to the left side. It's a lightning fast game so far, and it's already tied up. Some hesitation from Maru whether he should catch it there or not, but in the end, that is going to be the goal for Zeta Division 1 that ties things up in this game. Joker, again, trying to see if a, a play is possible. Beautiful knockback from Stetempo to secure that elimination as Joker gets jumped on, but still manages to find the kill either way. Moya Goku gets pinched by Joker as he struggles to close out that fight against Maori on the left-hand side, and things seem to even out for now. Shetampo also, he can slow down one of those supers from Joker if he pops a super at the right moment. Here it comes, and they're not really intending to push Shetampo, but he is on very low health. They can sneak around the side. Not a whole lot of value gain there from Reply Totem off that super. Meanwhile, on the left side, Maori's getting good damage. Good stuff from Shetampo, too. Down goes Joker. We got to see the pass. Maori's trying to get it. No, it's enough, but here's a super up to Kenji from downtown. Wow. There's the goal! And Zeta Division 1 to take game number two. Zeta Division 1 or Ice goal. They still manage to turn things around and tie things up here in Brawl Ball, and now we are all even 1-1 one, one in sets and 1-1 one, one here for Super Beach. Maya Goku is playing aggressive against Maori. Joker takes a lot of damage, still goes for the pass. Maru has an advanced position that could be the goal, but Kenji shuts him down. Joker still finds the kill, lines up the shot, and gets it deep into the net as Reply Totem. Again, 20 seconds to find a goal. Clean stuff for Reply Totem repeatedly. Though Joker, he's trying to replicate that. He knows that he can get this mobility in here. Here comes the super. Little gadget up by Maru. He's in position. Little fumble there on the pass, though. Moya Goku can silence things. Shetampo oh. and Moya Goku work together. Oh Maru gets a kill. It's a team wipe on both sides. And it's up to Kenji to establish the back line once more. He is going to get that ball repositioned. And Try to slow things down while his teammates respawn. Maru going very aggressive with that super. Not sure what the value there was. The tempo is going towards the ball. Has a super of his own, but gets stacked up very heavily. Needs to be careful about how he proceeds here. Is able to heal back up a bit. Wants to get that aggressive positioning. He moves forward. And oh! It still goes in. What a shot from the tempo. Sneaky stuff there from Zeta-1. Cover up the path of the ball by using an M's attack right after. It's not something that we see very often. And maybe something that's not completely intentional, but still looking clean. Little kill there in close range as well as Maru falls. A 3v2, now a 3v1. It's up to Joker to clutch this one, or at least buy his team some time to respawn. And back comes Maru, but no gadgets left. He doesn't have the mobility that he needs so badly. Shitampo also has a super. Things are closing in. It's not looking good. Pass to the right. Joker clutches it, but boy, Goku picks it back up. And Zeta-1 take set three what a turnaround it seemed like that was it like we're playing totem we're gonna take that third set but say that division one out of nowhere reverse sweep and, and what a way to do so as well and can we just appreciate the phenomenal performance from Stadempo so far he's been playing at a whole other level. Oh my my gosh, I, I just cannot wait for the stats. But look at this, I mean, just replay after replay. This was a sick one though by Maru. Sneaky around the left side. It's just a goal compilation here and every single one is just mind blowing here. Clean stuff from Joker as well. They're really using every trick in the book to get an elimination here.
Wow, unbelievable series so far. And I, I have to admit, man, the tempo has done so much for his team in this set. Reply Totem played phenomenally as well. But I have a feeling, ready, that this one is going all the way. I have a feeling too, I mean, uh, given how close things came, just in set number three, even in set number one, it was a draft diff in, in set number two, right? We, we've gotten that out of the way. However, every other draft has been so impressive on both sides, it's been so, so close. And Reply Totem, I think they actually put up a very good effort versus Zeta Division 1 on Zeta's strongest mode. However, the stats, they tell a bit of a different story. Shitampa with a whole lot of damage and kills, but Moya Goku also has been stealing the spotlight a little today. Yeah, 10 kills on his side, absolutely phenomenal performance from him too. And, and overall, what a close set again. This is such an incredible series already, and this is just a quarterfinal match ready. Well, Pit Stop, every single time you and I have been together here on Pit Stop, it's been a need to pick in. You know what? I'm I'm actually ready to count it out this time. I have a feeling that, oh, there it is. Reply Totem's counting it out. There's the Nita ban. It's, once again, I, I want to reiterate, it's good versus tanks. We just haven't seen Nita into tanks. Okay, explanation, ramble over. Here comes the rough from Zeta Division 1. They've also gotten rid of Penny, Bonnie, and Surge on their side. Yeah, the second pick now, or first for the side of Reply Totem. Try to deal with that roughs or go towards other ideas. You don't necessarily need to counter out the roughs very early on into the draft. One of the uh, better counters would have been called, but they banned it out on their side. There are plenty of, of, of ways to go. As you mentioned, you, you can bring tanks on this map. That's absolutely an option. Max is always an option. There's not really a single map where Max is not playable. I, I think throwers are still uh, uh, something to be considered as well, especially Barley. Uh, I think a pit stop can, can put in some solid work. They're going to go Rico, which is an idea I like. I mentioned it yesterday when they picked roughs uh, on, on this map. Uh, it's just a great way to not only deal with the roughs, but in general have a lot of nice angles, uh, whether it's on the safe or on your opponents. Just a lot of ways to deal damage to your opponents while they can't hit you. Well, the only thing on my mind right now is Barley because Barley could be great versus Colonel Ruffs and his sandbags. It could be great as a last pick and it's an option for Reply Totem. Zay Division 1, they could go ahead and pick it up themselves and risk getting countered. They could also decide that they're going to counter it out themselves because Colonel Ruffs, he can still break walls, right? We cannot forget that. Here's Yotus again and they seem to love this Brawler playing into Max. It worked well in the last set and it could work well again. He also gets very solid damage output on that high safe too and that's not something that you can ever count out. They have one more pick left left and not a whole lot of time to get there. What are they going to combine with the Colonel Ruffs? Where are they going to be placing? Oh, oh man. Wow. Probably not the buzz right off the bat there, but this is a super aggro pick. It's going to be giving Maru a lot of trouble. Taking a page out of Reply Totem's book, really. I mean, buzz on highs, that's all Totem, but they will be the ones facing it this time around as Zeta Division 1 bring it to the table. Let's see. What this final pick is going to be from Reply Totem is they need something strong. Nope. And it is going to be Barley, which is a brawler we have very rarely seen recently. But this is the map to bring him out. Obviously, we'll need to play incredibly careful around the walls because if the buzz gets anywhere close enough to hit a pool, that is going to be a free kill. I believe a lot of it's going to come down to the early game because Colonel Ruffs, okay, you know, we've been over this a million times. He's great at breaking open walls with his super, and that's probably going to be the main counterplay to Barley. The faster he can get those supers out, the worse Barley is going to be. However, what do you do versus a Barley that has speed? That allows a much better mobility to get in versus your safe. Zay Division 1, though, already giving mid a solid shot, but taking serious damage, especially on the Kinji. Meanwhile, Shetapo, he goes for the super. No value. And here's a speed onto Barley. Maru and Maru plan on laying into this safe. Yeah, beautiful kill onto Shetempo from Maru and Maru playing it out together. Shetempo going in with a gadget this time around. Nearly falls, actually. is very low HP now. And Maru is not quite able to get the connection. Instead, goes down. Still a little bit of a lead in favor of Reply Totem. Joker was a super. Finds some connections here and there, but nothing too substantial. As the pull from the tempo connects onto Maru, secures the elimination, and Maori is Ooh. next in line. The tempo takes him out, and he's low HP, but he's still alive. And 
That's pretty much the name of the game for the tempo. Mary, he's got the aggressive super in, clearing out some area. Shtetampo, though, has bad intentions around the right side. It's going to be denied for now. Some walls broken open. Good stuff from Shtetampo. Lots of damage on the safe. Kenji connects as well. A little pinch there versus Mary. Has nowhere to go, but he still sends Moya Goku to this early grave. Reply Totem, however, are operating at a heist safe damage deficit. And Shtetampo and Kenji are both forced back. Good connection of the silence on a Joker, and in fact, it's going to cause him to fall. The super, yeah, it's not going to give too much to Joker, though. However, Maori, he still gets some damage in, immediately denied by Shtetampo. No damage lead for Reply Totem as they now have to fall into defense. Yeah, a very small lead now still for D Zeta Division 1, but they got better positioning. Shtetampo has a super as well, and we saw earlier, over and over again, how much value he finds with them. Kenji could go for a mute 2 that would single-handedly take someone out of the fight. Kenji connects to Mute, finds the kill on the other. Shtetampo gonna miss the save with that pool, but it should still be enough to cause a lot of damage, get it all the way down to 11%. But look at this, all of Reply Totem are near that blue save. This is their chance to get a massive amount of damage. They need to close it out right here, right now, because a pull on the save or anyone getting over aggressive and it's gonna get turned around and Zeta will secure the win. It looks like they will do just that with just a couple of seconds left they need a miracle for a play totem it's going to come down to whether mary can pump out a lot of damage but it's looking quite unlikely one two three shots on there it's coming close 16 percent not enough value though a five percent differential there towards the end is going to give the victory to zeta division one and it's a match point and coming my goodness reply totem gonna be regretting some of those mistakes but it was the draft in ring of fire or in Brawl letting them just get out of their hands. Let's see now, as they face a match point, if they can make anything happen. Joker, full suit, the tempo off the bat, and wow, a one-on-one -on -one trade in the mid is exactly what Zeta Division wanted, as they still have the positioning. The tempo was able to get a good angle to get a super. Now immediately, the walls opened up, but somehow, not a single kill, he's the one going down. Here comes the speed in. Joker has to run it up mid. Not a whole lot of angles to shoot there. Kenji is avoiding a lot of damage along the way. Maori's trying to get something versus Shetampo. And on the right side, Maru falls. Maori's going to commit to this safe. He's got to get a lot of damage pumped out. Not a scratch on Reply Totem safe just yet. But a whole lot could be coming in. Moya Goku, Kenji, and Shetampo in tandem. All focused it down. Largely ignoring Maru as well. Shetampo tanks a lot of damage and provides a lot of value. But meanwhile, on Zeta's safe, they're still taking a heavy, heavy beating. In fact, it's getting close. It might even be exact at some point on the percentage. Yeah, this is an incredibly close situation, but Mary Solo HP gets muted as well, and Kenji shuts him down. That's a lot of damage on safe. This could just be it, and they have done it! Zeta Division 1 are moving through to the semifinals. An insanely, insanely close skill matchup, but it still leads to a 3-1 victory in the end for Zeta Division 1. A solid victory for the guys and a seriously, seriously good approach by Reply Totem. Really only one set in there that had me scratching my head and asking questions. Everything else, insanely close. It did not pan out in the end for Reply Totem, unfortunately. Absolutely so. Uh, yeah, the, the hot zone was the big blunder, right? That was a free set, just a poor draft on the side of Totem and one they will be regretting. Brawl was where also things got really, they, they, they just went absolutely wrong for the side of Reply Totem because Zeta Division 1 by all means should have lost that one, but Totem choked and made some mistakes, gave away another set and there was no recovering from there on. Yeah, uh, really, really just a few blunders made that added up to be a whole lot and a whole lot for Shitampo as well. So much value for him. That's what happens when you, you know, kind of take the reply totem strategy and apply it for yourself. No buzz for you, Joker. It's mine now, says A Division 1, and they take it, they run with it. Ten kills as well. It might not be the objective, but when you're continuously eliminating the Barley, the Rico, the main damage dealers of the squad, it's a huge dent in the potential output that reply totem had to offer. Yeah, th 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 this was nearly as close as it can get for 3-1, right? If you remove just that free set of hot zone, that was a phenomenal series. And I, I almost wish that we got to see the best, best of seven uh, between those two teams that we will have for the grand finals. Because I, I feel like, you know, some different game modes, some, some different conditions here and there, it could have been a different story.
I would have loved to see a best of seven too. I really wanted to see some more reply totem in Zeta Division One going head to head, but Zeta Division One they definitely have to be feeling pretty good here as well. And we got to decide an MVP. Of course, we, we asked yeah. you guys on event.monsters.com. <laughs> okay, it's shit Tampa. It always is shit Tampa. We, we don't need to tell them to vote. They they know exactly who to vote for here already. It's shit Tampa. No hesitation. He had highest skills, highest damage, pretty much in every single set and by far. I mean, this is one of those instances where I say there's, you know, a correct answer, right? Just like all the other questions on event.brawlstars.com, it's a multiple choice. Okay, you click Shite Tampo, you win, have your points, have your this and that, and, you know, get a little bit closer to that skin. Well, an awesome, awesome first match of the day for our quarterfinals. It has been exhilarating so far. And with that, Zeta Division 1, they...